OK, we had rock band Skinny Hobos have been applauded for their witty full rock sound, which they produce with only two instruments and their voices. Uh, they've just released their debut self-titled album and they are celebrating with a 12-day national tour. Welcome, Alex Elvis and Texas Holden. Yes, welcome. Oh. So I'm taking, it, I'm taking it these are your stage names. Yes. Yes. Alex and Texas. Where do they, where, so what, a bit of online gambling? <laughs> yes. How did this come up? Um, in reality, it's actually just nicknames that the both of us have had a long time you know um, my one comes from my family his one comes because his last name's Holdem you know okay fair so enough it's not a great story because you guys have <laughs> known each other for a very long time yeah. haven't you yep Where'd yeah. you meet? we met in high school yeah. actually through the smoke free rock west that oh, was great. what 2006 or five five or six four I'm older than you oh, okay well I wasn't <laughs> in 2004 so yeah. you old bastard um, <laughs> But yeah, we met in high school, played in different bands then, and then the band started itself in 2013. Yeah, we kind of went. To be fair, we didn't like each other back then. No. Yeah, so. he needed a bit of separation yeah. after school. Yeah, 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 definitely. You know, we were teenagers. The world. Yeah, well, he was North American, so he was really cool. So oh. I was just, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> no, it wasn't for anything I did either. You know, <laughs> you, you move here, you have an accent, people think you're cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know? it doesn't take yeah. much in New Zealand, no. really, does it? And then the funny thing is, is now you're in a two piece. So yes. it's not even yeah. you can get away with each other, uh, get away from each other no. and other members of the band. It's no. just the two of you. Yeah, we've talked about that a lot in our multiple road trips. Yeah. I think <laughs> I struggle to wonder how many kilometres we've sat in the van together just driving around the country. Part of the thing that we really wanted to do was the fact that back in the day, that's how you did it. You just got in a van and you went out and you played lots of shows. And these days, it's a lot more about social media and, and, and all of your you know online presence and your press photos. Yeah. But we, we wanted to try something different and, and we did, and it was lots of fun. We spent way too much time together in the van, yeah. going around doing these things. So. Hey, I just have to interrupt, though. Um, you're right about the accent thing, because <laughs> you can listen to it all day, can't we? Yeah. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah, see, see what I mean? Um, OK, so there's only two of you, though. Have you ever got to the point where you might want to recruit some other people, or are you just quite happy being the skinny hobos? I mean, to be fair, I don't get along with anyone, so <laughs> that's really, like, the only reason we're still a two-piece, right. is he, I, I can tolerate him? Yeah, that's right. somehow. I don't know how. You don't fair. want to push the boundaries any yeah. further. No. That's it. Yeah. This no. is the most successful band, successful yeah. band I've been in. I'm just going to, you know, take it and roll with it. Oh, awesome. So tell us a little bit about the album. Uh, well, it was recorded over a very extended period of time and took us a very long time to put out, as I think it does for a lot of bands on their first albums, trying to make it perfect. Yeah. But r realistically, it's... Uh, we put this one out for everybody who's been with us since day one. You know, a lot of the songs are, are older songs. There's a few newer songs in there, but it was a lot of fun. And we recorded pretty much the entirety of it live. Uh, wow. Again, trying to do it the way that, that people used to do it back in the day. So, you know, we set up at, at Roundhead um, in the same room and, uh, and just kind of played to each other. I guess the rock radio stations help you guys, but in mm -hmm. today's world with social media and Facebook, as you were talking about, yeah. you must find when you're touring around the country just fans that you didn't even know existed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and there's still a lot of independent radio, too. Like, um, we just started getting picked up by, a, 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 they're called Chaos FM and Blenheim. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Yeah. And that's exactly what you want. Yeah. Um, your music videos are quite something quite special as well. Uh, tell me about, because in them, you're all you're wearing, there's a theme through the four that I've seen. <laughs> yeah. You're wearing these masks of your faces. I mean, what was the story behind the, behind the masks and well, how did that work? It's a little, um, it's a little bit of a long story, but basically all of our videos are connected with an overlying story arc and we end up not being in town anymore. We wash up on this deserted island and in our, as our absence, <laughs> rock and roll just kind of dies and turns into all these these posers uh, pretending to be us, and that's kind of that's kind of what they are. What about yeah. the lights behind the eyes? That looks very um, yeah, not not approved. <laughs> no, that was definitely a, a bit of a homemade sort of DIY uh, soldering job. But uh, no, that worked. That actually, this one scene we had them and mm -hmm. they came out really well. Yeah, about as well as we wanted to. That so. was uh, our director. Are you still picking me up, yeah, by the way? Yeah, you dropped your mic on That's fine. Let's rock and roll. Yeah. Okay, okay, I want to just trash in the studio. Oh, yeah. I want to ask you guys this question, because I read a quote a while back, and it said that people that are into heavy rock music are usually more well-rounded and balanced and happy <laughs> with their lives. Would you agree that that is a true statement? Uh, to a point, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stress that goes on behind the scenes of rock and roll. You know, there's a lot of planning and sitting at computers and making things work that, you know, it doesn't translate out front. But uh, once you get through that, and yeah. once you're on stage, I guess you let oh, it yeah. all out. That's your performance. Yeah. Do your families love it? Oh Are yeah, absolutely. It? My my parents were, and and sister and a bunch of friends were in Topor 
where we started the tour last week. My mum and dad stood on the door and did the door and did the merch sales for oh, and us. Did they get into the mosh pit and like, you know, <laughs> yeah. get into it? Oh, yeah, awesome. I, I managed to get them covered for the door to see our set, so they were pretty stoked Oh, cool. You look like you have a lot of fun on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool to chat to you both. That's yeah. what it's all about. The Skinny Hobo's self-titled debut album is out right now, and you can check out Under the Radar for tickets to their nationwide tour, which has just kicked off. Uh, they're playing in Auckland tomorrow and Whangarei on Saturday before heading south.